up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shutter Talk. This is episode 11, I believe, and I'm here with uh, Kathleen, Kathleen Huang. How do you say it? It's Huen. It, it's not Huen. It is Huen. It's like winning. No, you've said win, Huang. You've said Huang. No, you've said Huang. I don't so it's believe win. it. It's H-U-I-N-H. How can it be Huang? I've... You've told me to call you Kathleen Huang. No, I've told you to call me Kathleen Huang. Okay, well, that's <laughs> oh that's, un, that's unimportant. <laughs> that's unimportant. But um, today I'm here with Kathleen Huin. Um, and we're going to be talking about traveling because she recently went on a trip. Actually, how recent was that? It was in May. Okay, not that, that recent. Not that recent, but I'll, at the same time, I left <gasps> in May. So um, that's the same thing. But how about you uh, briefly introduce yourself? Just tell us what you're up to, you know, your age, uh, your gender. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the first female on the podcast, by yeah. the way, so it's a big moment. But uh, go ahead. Okay. Well, my name is Kathleen. I'm 19 years old. I go to school. When's your birthday? February 25th. Go give me a birthday shout out. You're lucky. I never use my ID, so I'm kind of a useless early birthday yeah. gal. <laughs> I feel like they wouldn't even accept your ID. Okay, uh, no, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, did win... What was it? What? Um, ID till 30 at prom, so that is not... You got um, ID'd at prom? No, I got the award for ID till Oh, 30. you got the award? Wait, what What award did I get at, that, at prom? I have no idea. No, it was some stupid thing. Wasn't it most likely to become a movie director? Well, if okay, that's what you sorry. want. <laughs> okay, sorry. So what are you up to nowadays? What do you do? Uh, I go to school at Where? Carleton. You go to Carlton? Yeah. Ew. Carlton's the better school. Okay, what do you yeah. mean by you? I love when you, you say Carlton is the better school and you've never been to Ottawa U, so you don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> you don't either. Why'd you say you? No, I just like I just like roasting people for what school they go to. Oh, okay. I always if I'm talking to someone from so Ottawa U, I say even go I to say school? that yeah. <laughs> if someone's from Ottawa U, I say Carlton's better. If someone's mm-hmm. from Carlton, I say Ottawa U's better. Ready what do you go to school for? Um, I'm in envi- environmental studies. I, wait, actually? Yeah. How I'm, is that? That's a, that's actually, it's funny because there was actually the... Climate strike today. Climate strike in, did you hear that in Montreal, the Greta whatever, the, the Swedish girl was yeah. there? I didn't oh even God, know, I that. Didn't know that. I'm like, she's only only two hours away, this famous environmentalist. Oh <laughs> okay, but how do you like climate studies uh, in the... In the climate studies. Cli- is it the, it's not climate studies, environmental studies. Oh, it's good. What, is it, what like does it, it consist of, actually? Because I'm kind of interested in that. I have to turn. A lot of things as in? Um, you can look it up. What? <laughs> okay, so we're here on the podcast, and you're going to tell me to look it up. <laughs> if that's how it's going to be, then um, it's fine. I'll move on. So, anyway. <laughs> okay, so um, you left in May. When, when You were talking about this earlier. When when I left? Yeah. What, what day? So I left April 29th. That's not May. Well, I, I was there for the month of May. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I meant. All of May? One month? Yeah. So, so it was there Yeah, you're originally weeks. from Vietnam? No. I was From born Canada, in... but your parents, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So what did you do in Vietnam and what uh, have you been before to start? Yes, I've been twice before. Did you like it before? Yes. Is it kind of like... that time I went with like my family. I went with my family this time, but I didn't like stay. Like it wasn't my immediate family. So it wasn't like my parents and my brother. It was like my aunts. I have a really Wait, big family. Okay, how, okay, let's talk about <laughs> how big is your family? Because I thought okay. I had a big family. I know I have like, I think I have ten cousins or something like that. I have like, fifteen. Okay, on my dad's side only. <laughs> my mom. Okay, I have and the I have same. Four on my, more on my mom's side. I have like three on my mom's side, so I'm I'm actually kind of close. But how many? You have so 15? my dad has ten other siblings. Ten siblings. Ten other siblings. Is that just a thing in Vietnam? They used to have a lot of kids. Yeah. I think my mom has uh, four oh other siblings. Ten siblings. So how do you fit that in a house? Um, we try. <laughs> how many siblings Our do you are big. have? <laughs> I only have a younger brother. So it's funny how he went from ten to two. Well, that was my dad. But you just said your dad had ten siblings. Yes. And then he was like, "No, let's just get like I'm done with that. I'm just gonna get two two kids." Yes. Okay. So uh, you went to Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> how is how what, what was the what does the trip consist of in general? Um, so I stayed with just my, chilling. Yeah, basically, and I traveled nice. a lot in Vietnam. Like I went. How big is Vietnam? Um, it's bigger than Canada. No. Population wise, I don't remember now. You don't even know your population of your 
fifty percent genetically country. Hundred percent. No, because you're technically well. I guess Canadian. Yeah. Well, actually, then you're not. You're technically. Would not. I be like a Vietnamese Canadian? I feel like that wouldn't. Well, does that work? Because I know my mom's French, my dad's Canadian. So then, technically, I'm fifty fifty, but a hundred percent culturally Canadian. Oh. That's what I go for. So you're a hundred percent. Is that culturally- your bio? <laughs> Yeah, okay, anyway. that's actually a good idea. I should make that my bio. One hundred percent culturally Canadian. No, um, put it on your resume. How how would that help me get a job? I don't know. Okay, please, anyway, please tell me that. Um, Stop judging me, Doug. Okay, so you started in what place? What's what's the names of in Vietnam? So I lived in Bien Hoa. You lived or, or chilled? <laughs> like I guess you lived, lived. Okay. for a month. So Bien Hoa. Um, what do you do in Bien Hoa? So wait. Vinh Hoa is like a smaller, but okay. So you know where Ho Chi Minh City is? Saigon. I have no zero clue of okay, what so anything Ho in Vietnam is. Ho Chi Minh City is. is the capital of Vietnam. Uh, okay, okay. Ho Chi Minh City. Yes. Did I say it right? No. Okay. But that's okay. <laughs> and I lived like twenty minutes away from there. Twenty minutes. Okay. Using a motorcycle, though, I think. I think it was about Isn't that. that all the travel in Vietnam? Yeah. So I want to go to Vietnam. I think it'd be cool. You just rip cool. around on a motorcycle all day. Mm-hmm. Okay. And how long was that? What do you mean? How long did you stay in Ho Chi Minh City or close oh. to Ho Chi Minh City? Oh, the five weeks. That's the where I stayed. The whole time you were there? Yeah. I thought, I, you said, I thought you said you traveled, right? <laughs> I got this all wrong. What the hell? What's the difference? Well, yeah, but you're just chilling, you know? So like, then, me, I went that from was like country my... to country to country. Yeah, that's true. Okay. You did a lot more than I did. Well, yeah, I know. Understandable. When you're with the family, I find there's always restrictions to, you know... Mm-hmm. Have you ever... You've never traveled alone? It, yeah, that wasn't like, really traveling alone at all, no. But, like, like, like been in another country, like, not alone, but, like, you know, if you're with friends or something, just no parents. With no parents? Um, no. Like, there was always somebody yeah. older than me. Uh, that was like older like oh yeah okay no like i understand a what you parent mean. figure yeah okay a guardian figure yeah no but it's a complete if you go alone it's a completely different story because like you can't rely on them anymore and shit like that so you kind of got to do your own thing and there's mm-hmm. also just so much more freedom in what you want to do because so when you're traveling with other people you know they have to kind of have the you know oh you know i want to do this i want to do this and you got to go with them you can't you know you can but then like that kind of ruins the whole point of the trip is traveling as a, a squad yeah but when you're alone you just you just go day by day and live wow. the, live the life I'm not, are you getting <laughs> jealous or something <laughs> no, I'm just doing your okay what do you do in vietnam what did it what was the coolest do you have any cool stories from that time what or just in general of like what what's what's different culturally in vietnam than here like oh, what do you guys eat Com- oh, very. Like you guys eat like crab or uh, sorry, not crab, like spiders or some shit. Like, <laughs> no, that's what is spiders. like? Let's talk about let's talk about food because I because I just like, a- like seafood, Asian food. You know, seafood, lots of seafood. Do you guys, is it on Meats, the ocean? Fish? No, it's like why near- so much seafood, but you don't want the ocean. Oh, <laughs> lots of explaining to do, Dax. No, I'm I'm interested. I've never been, and I need to get a little background before I head out to Vietnam for the weekend. Um, uh, everything's really cheap. Yeah, That's well, for sure. yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. No, like, I'm not very, sure it is, but like it makes sense. Uh, so like a big, like let's say like a bowl of pho here, like a small bowl of pho. Yeah, pho or pho? Pho. Is it the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. You say pho? Is that because that's how it's. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Spe- <laughs> speak some Vietnamese real quick for all uh, the folks at home. Uh, what do you want me to say? Say, welcome to Shutter Talk with Dax Boulay. <laughs> do you know how to say that? What do you know how to say? Do you know? Do you know any Vietnamese? Yes, I do. Are you like fluent? Enough, mm, I do you talk say, with your parents at home? Yes. Okay. I wouldn't say I'm fluent though. Let's say you just got home like, from a long day of work. My accent is just work. really bad, so. Well, do you, I don't you have like an want. English, like Vietnamese accent? Yeah, it's very broken. <laughs> okay, say say hi, mom. Hi, mom. You say I, that? Yeah, I literally in say that. But oh, okay. Oh, in Vietnamese. So in Vietnamese. Mom, you can say it like if wherever you're from, like if you're from the north or like the middle, the area. south. And you're from the, the north or the, the south, you middle, say it differently. The, yeah, you say it differently. Yeah, I, but I, my, I you? say it how like a north. Okay, but what is it? it? I want to hear what it is. It's mea, 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 mea. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now like you're I, from the south. I'm gonna go call you my mom call that. Ma? She's gonna be like, "What the fuck did you just call me, <laughs> <laughs> Ma?" It's like you're saying "meow" like a cat. Meow. Yeah. Like yeah, meowing like a cat. Okay. Well, like I feel like you gotta you gotta go, but at least you understand the language. So, like, if you did, did you go travel? Like, go like around yeah, on I was a scooter? Say, okay, so when I was in Bingwa, we went like up north a lot. Like not all the way up was north. There mountains there. Uh, yeah. Isn't there like, isn't there There's like a, a lot amazing? of caves, like a lot of beautiful caves. See, and now I'm just getting ideas. I remember seeing videos from Vietnam. It's really nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you but like, go. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure I should go. Obviously, I'm going to go. Um, I want to go back next year. Okay, but I you think went that's going to be the plan. Do you go in any of these caves? Yes, I went to. What was um, your favorite cave? Um, Paradise Cave. It was just so pretty. What? But like, describe it. <laughs> um, we can imagine it's should... pretty. <laughs> pretty. Describe it. Pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. How do you describe it? Um, there's lots of rocks, lights. <laughs> so it's like a man-built kind of shaped tourist cave. Yeah, like the tourism is booming is there. Is there tourism? a lot of tourism in May? Like, oh yeah. Like, there's like tour buses and all like the tour guidey kind of thing yeah okay i feel like just filled with just yeah but you're out here living the cultural nice. experience <laughs> <laughs> that's my thing though when i travel i never go for the like i think on that trip i did i went scuba diving once which is technically a touristy thing mm-hmm. but not like really like locals do it too yeah um and but I would you say and i did like one cave i did thing, though. Like, anything that like is marketed and you go oh. there and like visiting like, the Eiffel like Tower. Like marketed to visit the country. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Eiffel Tower. Or like, you know, you search up things to do in Slovenia and you see mm-hmm. these caves to go visit. And then you go in there and there's a bunch of white dudes, oh. you know, <laughs> like not white dudes, but like <laughs> obviously tourist kind of things yeah. and, you know, all that stuff. And you also like when the, the prices culture. are just jacked up as fuck. Oh, that's so true. When you know I went I mean? to Saigon to go see the landmark 81. Yeah, you do something local and it's like the cheapest thing. It was like thing. 500,000 dong. And then you get the... <laughs> they're called dongs? Yeah, that's the currency. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> I paid 500,000 dongs to get fucking 500,000 dongs is like 30 bucks, but that's... 500,000 is their highest like bill. So that's like... A, equivalent let's say so they have a 30 dollar bill is the most they have yeah wow that so shows that, how cheap that, it is yeah that's yeah. what i was gonna say no it's great well like my issue when i was traveling is i would never know the currency and i had this discussion with dylan is when you're people like you know you're have, trying to get a taxi or some random shit um and they're like oh it's this much it's 500 albanian lek and you're like dude oh. like let me just pull out my conversion calculator because <laughs> i don't even know how much that is and also but did like you have any like lack yeah 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 yeah. no i had you would get them out at the atm and stuff like that mm-hmm. but the issue is i didn't some there were some things that i never take like for example a taxi in ottawa i've never taken a taxi have you taken a taxi me neither i have never maybe my dad bought me one once to drive me home he was like yeah oh, wait, hey, i'll I've call been- you a taxi oh okay like i've, I've been, been in a yeah, taxi, been in a taxi but, I've never, but I've never paid yeah paid for one so like they're like oh 30 bucks for this distance and i'm just like yeah i don't know if he's screwing me or if he's not (laughs) kind of thing and i feel like in vietnam especially like and all these like you know i've heard in india it's terrible like they they screw you over so much if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about Mm -hmm. and yeah that was my issue with the with currencies and things like that in vietnam we like they've started a new thing not started but it's like uber but they call it grab it's like the same thing kind of thing it's on an app yeah. It's it it's pretty like first call, world, yeah. right? Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, like as far as like they, everyone they really has a try. phone. Yeah, they really try to be. <laughs> what do you okay, okay explain this? <laughs> like they really everyone has a phone. Yeah. There's like the malls are nice or like what is it? It okay, there's just so, a lot of, it's a mixture of traditional ways and Yeah, modern so depending ways. on where you are. Okay, well yeah, that's everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like what do you mean? Like what do you? What's your question? Say like, that again. <laughs> why do you? Why do you think it's like, like they're trying? Like you think like do they have, like you know public even, transport? Yeah. Okay. I think yeah, it's pretty possibly. first. Honestly, I think it's pretty first world. Yeah. Now in the yeah, cities, sure. I don't know about the countryside. You know what I mean? They still live like. Um, like, do they have like? Is it like full on rice farmers? Right. Yeah. There's there's still those like my when I went. Yeah further out to like visit one of my family members don't even know like a grand uncle or something yeah um he lives like just 
fields of durian. You know what durian is? No. Durian is like the king of fruit. It's like the smelliest wait, 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 okay, fruit okay, wait, ever. Wait, wait. I know what it is. I know what it is. I have a funny story. Okay, go so ahead. So in grade six. Oh, we're going all the way back to grade <laughs> six real quick. I brought durian. Actually, my mom brought durian in my lunch bag. And it Why stunk it s- up the school. So what? I decided to, I opened the lid and then it smelled so bad I closed it. I left it in my, brought it into my locker, yeah. left it there. And then somebody in the class was like, what's that smell? And then they went to my, like, they like smelled around and they smelled like down the hall and was like, Wait, oh, what? they just in your stopped, locker. They just stopped class to it go was in, smell? It was during lunch. <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah. laughs> and then I was like, what the hell? They like, just stopped in class? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And then Darren Taylor decided to, oh, can I say that? Yeah, sure. No, go ahead. actually, don't. No, don't. No, 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 Cut no, no, that out. No, no, no. Go ahead. Cut that out. Why? Why could I not? Because you can't use your names. <laughs> yes, I can. I use. No, you can. I just used Dylan Lajeunesse. Can you use all your things? We don't have permission. I can call out. You have and- to cut that out. No, I don't. You okay, continue. To- just continue. I'll cut it out. Okay, good. So this one guy in my class. D- there's this, this one guy in my class ran out of the office and was like, "There's a gas leak in my classroom." He said that. Yeah, actually, or something like that. So then they went back and like, they had to call like the these people to come in and see if there was an actual gas leak. But I think it was just my fruit. But That's then actually they brought legit. A, like a letter home and was like to all the parents and stuff and was like, "Oh, there, we had to check out if there was a gas leak today." Blah blah blah. Yeah, they went that far. It smells like gas. No, it smells really bad. It smells like fart, kind of. Okay. In I, a way. Actually, but Does it, it also smells good, good. It also smells good. So it's subjective. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. You think it smells good, but people think it smells like fart. Yeah. I'm actually I'm interested because I've, I've heard I of the smell, fruit. I've never, isn't it like a hard shell kind of thing? It's like really pointy. It's like pork. Yeah. Pie. Okay. I know. I know what it is. I I think I've had it. I think it's pretty tasty, but I don't fucking know honestly. At the same time. Okay, but sorry. So you. <laughs> sorry. Did you, you you stayed in that place the whole time and yes. visited caves? What were, and, and what were some other cool things that I you went visited? on like this island. It was called Monkey Island, so it was just like filled with monkeys. What type of monkeys? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you wouldn't know. But we, there was a what is, circus. What goes on the like a monkey like, circus? People, the monkeys just jump around the island, or what? Yeah, they just live there. Dude, oh, I yeah. gotta go to fucking Vietnam. That's you do. So cool. I think I've seen photos of this too. I like people. Yeah, no, I think I know what you're talking about. But go ahead, sorry, the circus. I, yeah, <laughs> but they treat the animals like so badly. Like I saw, like, I yeah. peeked in the back and I was like, oh my God, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, I want to leave. Yeah, you see, that's, I don't, like the circuses are just not my thing. And like even like things like, for example, Park Omega recently I went mm-hmm. and I'm like. Oh, Marine Land and all that stuff closed down. Because of that shit? No, but they closed down like recently, like a few months ago. Yeah, I saw a band. I hate, I I don't like any sort of display of animals like that because, first of all, it takes out the majesticity of it. Like, majest, like seeing a fucking bear in the wild, you're like, damn, that shit killed me, you know? (laughs) But then, like, you see it there and it's like literally lazy as fuck because it's been sitting in a cage the whole time. It it doesn't do anything, you know? It's not what it's, what's not what's actually supposed to live like and doesn't represent what a bear actually lives like. Um, so yeah, Park Omega, I'm like, fuck, like, I don't want to come here again anymore. Yeah. And the issue is like, okay, yes, these animals are, you know, protected. They're not going to do this. The bears kind of suck because the bears are like, you know, they have a pretty big area, mm-hmm. but it's still, it's still like anything that's capped off is capped off. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, even if they have it's not like, like their like, full yeah. potential. Yeah, like, exactly. It's not the full potential at all. It's ca- capped off. And um, the problem I find is with the the feeding of it it's like oh yeah carrots aren't bad for it but it's like fuck you just if you just feed this fucker carrots all day all day yeah like the thing is like i think deer you know eat grass all day it makes sense but that's all they do they eat and they sleep like i don't see any of them running i don't see any and and it's so easy for them to find it like i guess you know deer still have to look for grass a bit to eat. park omega is the one where you like drive through yeah it's a drive through kind of thing and like now like these deer these deer are trained in their head that Anytime they see a car, you just walk up to the car and you get fed. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just like, I don't think it's that the carrots are bad for them. And I'm sure there's plenty of scientific research around it. But at the same time, like that many fucking carrots a day. like And also all those cars that go by, all the emissions. Yeah, the emissions is like. <laughs> Sorry, especially like go a back car, to No, no, but a car going at that speed, like a slow speed, I think 
produces more admissions than a car going at a faster speed or some shit like that. And I just like, it's just not a thing because those deers are trained. If you put that deer out in the wild, it would die in a day. Like it would. Oh yeah. They don't know how to get food. You know what I mean? Like you, you can't just put a a, a caged animal. You can't put a caged animal and it's just, it's growing. Not only genetically, it's messing them up because over the long period, I don't know how long Park Omega has been gone, but you know, genetics do change. Like evolution is a thing and they're going to evolve to be these fat fuckers. (laughs) But aside from that, (laughs) Circuses are bad. Oh yeah. Okay. Other than Monkey Island, was there anything else on the trip? Uh, uh, I went to. Do you know the Golden Bridge? Golden Gate Bridge in Los Angeles. No, the Golden Bridge, like no. the ha- with the hands. I think Vietnam. I know. Yeah, it's like I, the I'm, one of the the very big touristy yeah, I places. Yeah, single pictures in my head. Yeah. No. Okay. I know what you're talking about. The Golden Bridge with the hands. That was my Is favorite cool? city. Like Da Nang was what the da city Nang. that was in. And it was just beautiful. It's like a fast moving place though. Yes, right? yes. Like is there cars? Yeah. Or is, I thought it was all tuk tuks or something. What? What's your what's your like don't you guys have like little bikes that people ride around on? Um Or everyone drives cars. Drives yeah, cars mo- people drive cars and motorcycles. Oh yeah, okay, sorry, motorcycles is the thing that they do. But yeah, so that was your trip. It was amazing. Did you enjoy Probably it? Probably like a nine point five out of ten. The very <sighs> first two At, weeks um, a week yeah th- five weeks is the first time. two weeks was kind of like rough I, okay let's talk let's adapting. talk about that let's talk about the emotions of the trip <laughs> this is the part i like to talk about you know it's cool visiting all these places but what well yeah yeah let's talk about why was this why did it suck at the start did you learn anything cool during it was your so trip? hard adapting to like the weather and like the, the weather living, <laughs> the living what about the culture the culture that's like it that's was a, a big, big culture shock yeah and like the way that we sleep eat like timing so, yeah, let's my talk about body that. woke up at like 5 30 every day really? when i can barely wake Vietnam up for eight way. but do you feel here. tired no, not at all. Like, your body clock just naturally wakes up at that time. Really? And you naturally sleep at, like, nine. Okay, but <laughs> what do you mean the way you sleep? You sleep on the floor or something? Yeah, we sleep on, like, mattresses on the floor, but, like, just... Is there a weird the way you eat? Like, food? don't chopsticks a lot and stuff like that? Yeah, chopsticks. Not and, like, weird, but different. Sorry. I guess, like, some other houses are, like, a little bit more western but my home, yeah no okay like yeah, it makes sense. Anywhere, in. anywhere in the, the world, there's going to be more modern, modern-ish houses, yeah. Yeah, so the one like well, the house that I was living in mm-hmm. um we ate outside so t- like dinner t- dinners are outside <laughs> I like that <laughs> but was it cold or like why why is no it- it's super hot out okay <laughs> it was hot the whole time yeah it was I like think 37 every day it's just hot around the world right now like I know when I was in France and Paris yeah you had that was did you really read bad. that yeah I wasn't actually the funny thing is I was it was Berlin Paris and like all these like northern kind of European uh places I uh, I moved to went to Poland during that oh. those those days, those like two days or something like that. And I was supposed to be in Berlin technically, but mm-hmm. I was in Poland because we we're like fuck it, let's go to Poland. And um, yeah, so I ch- I was in Poland luckily, and the whole time there it was raining and it was fresh out. It was it was really nice. Oh wow! So luckily Wait, I, so I just missed that part. Wait, how many countries did you go to? Okay, are we talking about me now? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I, I, what do you mean go for it? I, I'm sure people know, but uh, I went to the. Ba- Excuse me, the, ba- the Balkans. You know the Balkans? You don't know the Balkans? No one knows the Balkans. Albania, okay. Slovenia, Montenegro, Croatia, and uh, Bosnia. Do you know that? Any of those? Yeah, a few okay. of them. Um, and then I went to Germany, sorry. And then I went to Poland. I went to France as well. And I dipped my toe in... No, never mind. That's, like, that's it. Toe. I don't know. I was going to say dip my toe because like, I think I jumped briefly into a country. But uh, no. I was trying to think if I went to Spain, but I didn't actually visit Spain. Oh. I was going to, but I did not. Um, but, you know, getting back to you. So ad- after adapting, was there any, like, you know, culture shock? You learned anything cool? You learned any good life lessons? Because that's what I learned on my trip, honestly. A lot of like a lot, lesson. but I, I feel like I can't communicate it as well as I... Just With one what? thing that, you know, is a clarity now to you. Like, for me, it's like... That we're really, like, super duper duper blessed? privileged. Yeah, blessed. And, like, <laughs> so many for people granted. are... Yeah, some people don't need to, like, get more gratitude. People just need and, like, perspective. That's the main, yeah. the main thing. People always... First of all, just pers- not even on just that of, you know, okay, I get, you know, this, I get, we're drinking water right now. Motherfuckers in the world don't have water. Yeah, like fresh, 
clean water. Yeah, fresh, clean easy water. Easy access Cold that you can... fucking ice. Yeah, <laughs> that you can get just from a tap. Yeah, Like, no. some people can't even drink tap yeah, water. Yeah, and people just take it for granted. And I'm be honest, I'm not blaming people, because think of it, like, what, it's... They don't, they don't know. It's not, like, it's not talked about, all this mm-hmm. stuff. Like, it's not your fault you're taking it yeah. for granted. Yeah. For me, for me, literally, I start to realize... It's just a pro- your product of your environment, and when you have access to that stuff, you you just you you don't think of it anymore. Yeah. Like once I got back and I was it's starting like to an go back into being yeah. yeah being able to go into my fridge and just get any food I want at any time, mm-hmm. compared to when I was out and I I didn't have that privilege. I took I started taking it for granted, and it's not I don't blame you, but also just taking the way you know the things you have in your life. I was gonna say something else, but. Just the things you have in your life for granted is a huge thing that people say and they don't have control over it because it's how they're raised, right? So like they don't, you know, you don't, you're not raised and you see videos of, or like you get to go to Africa every single time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you're raised and this is how it is. And that's a huge thing I, I think about is just how like you have to think about how people, how people think, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like for example, like all these, like it's just, it's a psychology game, I think. And all these people are raised thinking, you know, like all these kids nowadays are raised thinking, you know, climate change is bad, right? So that's why we're all protesting about it. But all the it's other, it's a good thing that we are. But all the, it's a good thing, yeah. But you see, all there's, uh, it's a completely different thing than good and bad. It's just what you think mm-hmm. is how you're raised. So all these people, you know, if you're raised in a petrol family, you're going to be told petrol is good. Yeah. And you're going to have a strong point of view about that. And someone says, no, you're wrong. You're yeah. going to be like, no, fuck you. Yeah. It's because you're raised that way, you know? Yeah. Like, you, it's not your fault. So, yeah, even we if can't it's, blame anybody. Even if it's bad that you think that, it's not your fault you think the wrong thing you know but what I, I mean think that but you need to start realizing it it's it's complicated yeah but i also think that if you personally realize it if you consciously understand and like see other people's perspectives yeah. then that's a huge thing i'm doing now is seeing other people's <laughs> perspective in an argument it's it's not i'm not even kidding it's the biggest like advantage you have you just anytime someone says something like they scream at you you mm-hmm analyze you know think how they're feeling yeah and then you answer it so you know you you know come out on top kind of thing like you know like they said like oh you're super dumb and then you think okay why did she call me dumb what did i do and then you realize that and then you answer with like something that'll counter it kind of thing yeah i i think about that all the time (laughs) (laughs) i'm sorry but i know it's good that you learned a lot of a lot of good life lessons because traveling is it just gives you more perspective on, mm-hmm. on how the like, world really is. Everyone should travel. Not even like far. You don't have to go far. Just go into a different even province you, yeah. even. Yeah. Like honestly, just traveling, getting out, switching out of your routine, not getting stuck in it. It leads me to a, a huge point I have is about change. Like if you're going to be doing the same thing for your whole life, like you're going to go mad. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Like I recently started playing music because, you know, the, you know, some, I don't know, like my, I, I like to switch it up. Mm. <laughs> Like, you know, like going to school every day, like, you know, that's why you switch. Like if you just took the same classes every year, like I feel like that's why like I hate English so much because you had to take it 12 years straight. You know what I mean? It's never something new. And that's why like when a new class like anthropology, did you take that in French? I didn't. Well, like, you know, any any example of (laughs) of a random elective you just take, it's you're more interested in it. Right. Yeah. That's why people like electives because like it's a one time thing and you you do it and you switch it up. And I guess because also you get choice. Yeah, and you get choice. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that is true. But at the same time, like, you know, there are certain classes that, you know, I don't get to choose to take. But, you know, as long as, you know, okay, never mind. I don't even know where I'm going with that. <laughs> but I think change is a huge thing. And, like, just switching up your daily life. Like, you know, they always you always hear this, but, like, you know, taking a different route, bus route, or taking mm-hmm. a this and that. Just do it because you'll feel good. And once you do it, too, it's a sense of accomplishment. I know a lot of people, like, don't like change. I think it's good for you. Change is a scary thing. It is really scary. Even in the micro, like, you know, you're sitting on your computer or like you're sitting at your house and, you know, on your phone and then, you know, you could go outside and run, but, you know, people don't want to make that change because they're comfortable where they are sitting, mm-hmm. watching your phone. <laughs> but, you know, when you go out and you do that, you know, go for a walk, you could, you know, feel that fresh air and you'll feel so much better. You said that it's a, it's a mental game just taking that first step. Yeah. Okay. I agree. So that was really good, Dax. <laughs> thank you. Anything else uh, you want to say about your trip? Um. No. No. You I like feel it? like whenever overall, someone asks, good trip. Yeah. Overall. You got back in what? June third. Let's move on to your. Was your summer different because you went on a trip before? 
It was it a good summer. It was a great summer. Okay, what was your highlight of the summer? Going to Vietnam. Every case. Okay, Other honestly, than Vietnam. Whenever I left Ottawa, it was a good time. Like I went to Toronto. You don't like Ottawa. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ottawa. I just like. You like change. You like travel. Yeah. Going okay. What'd you else. do in Toronto? I went to go see Black Bear. Oh, I like Black Bear. Was he good? <laughs> yeah, he was good. Yeah. <laughs> he has many- a kid now. He does? Like he's going to have a kid in it's January. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be a weird. It's gonna be a weird kid, Black Bear. You're gonna have a weird kid. Okay. What, what um, else? Where else? You went to Montreal. Uh, did I? Yes, I did go to Montreal. What did you do it in was Montreal? the end of the. You go to Oshaga and stuff like that. No, I no? didn't. Blues I did went Fest? to one Blues Fest concert. What blues Fest concert. It was to see like Glenn and Stella, Kygo, like that group of people. Not sure who they are. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Blues Fest I've never actually been to Blues Fest was a funny thing and I always like felt this pressure like oh you gotta go to Blues Fest it's in the summertime everyone's going mm-hmm. but I was I would never pull myself oh. to go I even just, like one day nope oh. I don't know if Maybe it was either year? like <laughs> well one thing was like I would never get the tickets cause I was like I don't really know if I want to go and then yeah. I would wait too long and cause it's so early right but at the same time like I feel like it's just like a so much pre-planning you know, you know it's just a, it's just a party to party you know what I mean it's not really like I've, I've seen the videos I've seen the photos it's just like people like you know you yeah yeah here you know you're a dude you don't even like Post Malone but everyone's singing it so you're there <laughs> and you're like ah Post Malone uh, so we say congratulations oh you know what I mean God. and you're like woo, 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 woo. and then there's mosh pits and shit like that yeah like you know I'm not really part of the part I, I can party I'll just trust me I can party mm-hmm. if I want to but I just don't do it anymore that's okay See you again. I gotta do like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. I gotta get back into it. No, I don't drink right. I don't drink alcohol right now because I'm gone vegan. Technically, I can start doing it, but alcohol is not good for you. Well, it's not bad for you, but you know. What's the part that you can't drink? Like, and there's no part I can't drink. I just, you know. Oh, you mean it's don't drink like- your calories? Oh God. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not like it's not like there's meat or like uh, bones. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. Okay, let's move on though. So you enjoyed your summer. Like, the... <laughs> Highlights? Yes, I did. Was it hot here? Um, no, not not that hot. Not that hot? Yeah. No? It was a very nice like it was, it was a nice okay. amount of Okay, we're gonna get into Three, school seven. briefly. Oh no, we, I don't like before we cap this, school. Before we cap this off. How was the transition going back into school from from, you know, going on that trip and everything, that, that whole trans, even like just the transition of coming back to Ottawa to start. Mm-hmm. How, how that, how was that? It was good. What did it, really? Like, it was smooth? You, it was, uh, yeah, it was smooth actually, surprisingly. Trust me when I, went I back and I was like, okay, going to work. Yeah. When I got back, it felt like I was there the whole time. Yeah. You're so, it's so familiar it to you, It feels right? like a whole different year that I went to Vietnam. Like it, it feels a long time ago. Yeah. Like, a, no, like a whole different, like it was literally like a whole different lifestyle. You yeah. Know? No, it's completely different. And I got back day two. I was back. I was like in my thing, like, you know, hopping, you know, like I, it just felt all so familiar, even yeah. though I was gone for three months. Like, oh yeah, you went for a really long time. It's a, no, but it's a weird, it's a weird phenomenon of when something gets so ingrained into your head that it's just so familiar with you. Mm-hmm. And that goes to like subconscious things. And I'm going to, I'm going to stray off real quick because I read this funny article of programming your mind unconsciously to learn how to, you know, do things. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you brush your teeth, right? Do you ever think like, oh, brush, right, left, right, left. You know, you don't think that. You you grab your toothbrush, you know, it's all subconscious and you're watching a video while you do it, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what coming home is. It's subconscious. Like, you know, you're so comfortable, you know, where this, that, this, this is. And I've heard, I've heard you can practice programming your subconscious brain to like do things like for example right now my brain is pretty subconsciously um programmed to not like you know read the labels like i don't even think about it now i read labels to make sure there's no things that are vegan right yeah i'm subconsciously programmed to not crave meat that's the thing like i don't even crave it anymore it's weird but yeah it's just a weird thing i I've, i've thought about of training your brain like to with good habits yeah that are subconsciously put into you so you don't actually did you just like find this article or did you like, it I think up? it was a book actually but oh. like <laughs> I think it was a book I'm not it might have been an article but you can subconsciously program your brain if you do it takes like what it's like that thing like it takes like 22 days to build a habit or, or something yeah days. I think it's 30 days to 30 build. I don't even know 60 days or something and then once you do it it's a habit right it's, yeah. it's programmed into you you do it every day and that's the thing people need to start doing with good habits 
Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like waking up in the morning, like people are like, I'm not a morning person. Try it for 22, 30 days straight. And then you'll, and then you'll just go. naturally wake up you'll on You'll naturally time wake up. You don't even need, at one point you won't even need an alarm because yeah. your body will be like, ding, it's time to wake up and you'll just wake up. Um, so yeah, it's a subconscious thing. But yeah. <laughs> how that transition go back into school there? Uh, transition back to school was a little bit more rough. Like, I kind of don't You didn't like want it. to do it? Like, I didn't want to do it. Do you like your program? I do. I like my program. I just, I think I don't like school. The, the method of learning? Yeah. I don't like sitting so, there. So that's your method. Is that how you, in Carleton, you learn is you do lectures? Yeah. But the classes I have like labs. So I, I last year I had a class. It was geomatics. Yep. And we just like learned the stuff, went to do our labs. Our All of our assignments were just like our marks was based off the labs and I like that a lot more because like, like you're actually doing what it's you're per, learning it's a per it's class like, basis right yeah though? so like sure. you depending on like that class right was all mm-hmm. labs right but then there's yeah. some classes you take that are just, just lectures yeah i had this i took crim it was a 50 50 midterm exam like 50% midterm, 50% oh, so it doesn't exam. even matter if you go to class or Yeah. Not. What the hell? <laughs> it was so awful. Yeah, you see, so like my, I'll tell you my issue with school. Yeah. I have I have two or three complaints. One is speed of learning. Mm-hmm. You don't get to choose how fast you learn, how slow you learn. And especially in university. Spe- you go, go, go. And like, let's say, okay, you want to learn more, right? You know, you got to wait till next week. Let's say you want to learn less. No, you your class is next week. You yeah. got to go. You, you got more information to take in. Number two is you take a lot of bullshit classes that you'll never actually need. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like high school. Because you need to take Because you need to take it, right? Yeah, no, like, like what, you need, I don't know how it works. There's a credit system where you get all these credits. Yeah, like, you know, like, you're like, okay, I got to take, you know, this class, this class. You don't, can you choose to not take anything? No. No, because you you need to get the credits, right? Exactly. Eventually, you have to take something. Exactly. So, like, that's the thing. Like, there's a lot of bullshit classes and you don't get to learn, choose how you learn. Mm-hmm. So like for you, just like you were talking about, you you got to Even if you learn better doing the labs and shit like that, you, you no, you got to sit down and listen. Mm-hmm. And that's, I think I might minor in geomatics, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna wait until second semester. Okay, so you haven't decided what you're gonna yeah. go into. That's cool though. No, like, <laughs> it's well, a, I'm in. It's like cool, I'm majoring in environmental studies, and then I have a minor in geography. But I'm I don't not exactly sure. know how the university whole thing works. Like know. major, minor, would you ever bachelor. go? So. What I'm up to right now is mm-hmm. just because of all these complaints I have. <laughs> Wait, you didn't say all of your complaints. You only was, said two. No, I said three because the way you learn. Oh, the way you learn. Okay. Um, so my that's my, those are my issues with university, and that's why I have not gone yet. Number three, four actually complained is it's you're thrown at it way too early. At 18, you shouldn't have to decide and spend all that money on what you want to do. Mm-hmm. And that's why I took, you know, I, I would take five years off if I had to. You know what I mean? Like, it's the thing you're going to do for the rest of your life. And I get that, you know, you learn better when you're younger. But I, I, I don't, I'm not sure. But like, I know, like, whatever's ingrained to your head at 12, think, 10, 12. Like, yeah. you know, you've seen those charts, right? At 18 to 24 or something is like one of your, you know, big stages in learning. I think it's because like you're still you're, in that routine kind of thing or yeah whatever. i'm not exactly sure the yeah not development of the brain and your brain's still <laughs> developing and everything um so like this stuff gets ingrained but well, i don't exactly know what it is but i think you're thrown into it way too fast and like you know you're like like i remember like grade 12 or no it was grade 11 you had to apply right no no grade, no, no, grade 12 grade 12 but people did apply in grade yeah yeah 11 like late so, grade 11 yeah so like you would get there, and I remember I was like, okay, grade 12, grade 12. And then, like, the second day of school, they're like, okay, here's your university applications. Uh, choose what you want to do for the rest yeah. of your life. You have uh, two months to choose. <laughs> <laughs> and I was uh, like, um, okay. I actually chose my program, like, the week before. The week before the... The deadline. The deadline. Yeah. So, yeah, that's crazy. Um, so, yeah, I didn't choose... Actually, oh, no, I, I applied. I, what? Like, I applied for sociology but then randomly was like oh i'll throw in you ottawa environmental studies like a week before yeah you see you didn't even fucking know did you yeah so that's my thing i was like see how it goes i was like fuck it okay i'm gonna apply to business because like my parents were like oh what are you gonna apply to i was like okay uh let's do business or some shit i I applied to business at ottawa u carlton oh what's that there's that one university in montreal or something mcgill no fuck it's not concordia I think I applied to Concordia or some shit. And um, 
Yeah, no, so I think I got into, like, a couple of them. I think I got declined by a couple because my marks were shit. Or, like, I, I was not... Tr- I remember that grade 12, I did not try mm-hmm. that well. That well. But I got into something, and I was like, okay, no, I'm not going to this. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, like, I was like, fuck, why? No, I'm not going to this. Like, I can't just decide that fast. You know what I mean? So I took a year off, and I worked because my parents like, you have to work. You mm-hmm. know, you can't, you know, just do nothing, even though, like, you know... I'm only 18. <laughs> like, people act like 18 is old. You're, you're still a fucking baby. I'm sorry. 19 is still really young. Uh, 25 is still a baby. You're going to live four more lives if you're 20. <laughs> Think of it. You're going to live four more lives. Yeah. You know how long it feels but like I've been alive for? From the ages of 18 to, like, 25, you're doing so many things at once. Yeah, well, no, it's, a, it's your prime. I will tell you, it is your prime years of your life. Because, first of all, you're physically, you know capable of moving like i'm sorry like once you get 40 years old my dad cannot play basketball as good as you know what i mean <laughs> and also just like your brains and development and everything and you know like energy social energy it's just like you you know all these cultural things you yeah. 20 it's a good it's your 20 your 20s are a good year yeah are your prime years i'm sorry but like you know once you hit 30 i'm not saying you're old <laughs> i'm not even saying a 60 year old is old because think of it you have 40 like minimum i'm not even kidding with with technology 40 40 more years as long as you don't fuck yourself over and drink and smoke and all this stuff Mm -hmm. and have like you know maybe a a, like a high you know alzheimer's in your family or some shit like that yeah but also when you're six you're learning so much six yeah yeah no exactly so but that's like complete bullshit that you don't you know (laughs) the thing about that no i agree you are learning like fuck ton like you're you're figuring shit out it's actually insane watching a kid grow up yeah like my little cousin he's four now and he's learning three languages and it's he's learning three languages well like english and french in school and then he's also have vietnamese so he's learning vietnamese on the side but i think that it's just gonna mess him up like it's just gonna be like too much for him yeah no but it does work for some kids but at four i feel like that's crazy and you see i'm not i'm not a scientist (laughs) me neither but uh fuck where was i but i think that you get thrown into it way too fast so i took this year off and i was like okay i'll work so i worked at mcdonald's i was like screw this Mm -hmm. I, I didn't like it at all. And yeah. I knew it subconsciously, but I was just like, you know, like you, you, you know, subconsciously you yeah. hate it, but like, you know, you're just like, yeah, work was fine. You know, mm-hmm. just living my day to day. Um, and I was doing, you know, Something video you stuff, to. trying to figure out what I like to do, you know, video stuff like I did photo stuff. Um, and pretty much. Yeah. So I did a bunch of that. And then my cousin texted me. He's like, Hey, I'm going on this trip. Mm-hmm. Fuck. When was this actually? This is my sec. Oh yeah. So I only have. Damn, I'm, you see, I don't even realize. I'm like, I've only been off a year. Technically, this is the second year off. Yeah. Like, I would have been in second year now, but, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I waited for that. And and my friend was like, yeah, come on this trip. Because he invited me to Hawaii before, but I was like, no, I got to work. Uh-huh. I said some bullshit <laughs> like that. Um, and I really should have, I should have gone. And so I was like, fuck it. I'll, I quit. I want to go to Hawaii. I quit. <laughs> I have, uh, Theo's going. You know Theo's the dragon? Like, briefly, kind of. No, yeah. Okay, he's going. To, he texted me or he told me he's going to Hawaii, and I, I do want to go to Hawaii as well, especially just to surf because I love surfing. Um, I know you know how to surf. Hey, I, I surf in France. <laughs> okay, but sorry. Let me let me wrap it up. Or yeah. Like finish what I'm saying. Okay. So I went on this trip, and like that, it just completely changed me. And like, I I don't know if you noticed, but like, I'm a completely different dude now. Well, actually, this is the first time I've seen you since your trip. No, at Ryan's. You weren't there. Never mind. No, you were. You were there. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Okay, fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is actually. Wait, was I? Did I have I seen you before? Yeah, you were at the party. Remember? Oh, but that was so brief. That was brief. It was like five seconds. Yeah, you seemed like you didn't care. <laughs> oh, I did care. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, no, it completely. I know. I just didn't care because you said something really rude to me. Yeah, probably. But anyway, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. That's okay. Um, no, but I'm completely like it changed me. Now my mental game is just completely unstoppable from the things I know that you I, post I can on see, social media what it seems like you like you've learned a lot see I've you just learned so much and like I I'm not even kidding like I can I kind of know what people think now especially like because I'm a millennial like mm-hmm. when I go to a party and I like I'm talking to a dude <laughs> and then like I can tell he's awkward and he's yeah. like and I, I know what he's thinking about I know he's <laughs> like yeah this guy's cool but I'm just talking to him because you know I got no one else to talk to like oh. no but like I it's obvious you you I it's weird, like, people subconsciously know it, but me, I think about it when I'm talking to people, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking to this person, and they're obviously distracted and trying yeah. to go do something else, because <laughs> yeah. someone else who is, like, 
popularity and shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, you know, like, you know, I, I just, I see it now and it's kind of weird that like I can met like psychology, psychologically see that. Yeah. That's um, really good though. It is. It's, it's kind of you know, cool. It's weird. It's weird. It's really weird. Um, and yeah, so, and also like I can control my emotions now is a big thing. Like when people like start like yelling. Like you don't get mad as easily? So I'm not going to say I don't get mad because there's been some times when I slip easy. up because like, you know, it's a, it's a training process, but yeah. I do think like when I am fighting, I'm like, yeah, this is not worth it at all. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, yeah, okay, whatever. Da, 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 and I just move But on. like you also shouldn't just give up if it's a point that you. Yeah, no, but no. Okay. But me. one thing I've learned is never try to, never try to convince someone they're think of it if i and also okay to start if you're trying to convince someone don't call them an idiot you know what i mean oh, like yeah like, like you're, you're protesting we're <laughs> out here protesting telling these politicians you guys are dumb oh. yeah and they're gonna be like oh yeah we are super dumb let us just change everything for you guys you oh, know what God, i mean like, no but like actually if we're arguing and you okay you believe in climate change i don't right mm-hmm. and then i say you're dumb you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. how is that going to help yeah. you think that I'm right? So it's first like of all, it's like a filler word. Yeah. Well, no. Anything that insults the person and makes them feel attacked, you're never, you're never going to win the conversation. Um, where were we talking about though? Uh, yeah, I forget. Okay, but um, <laughs> yeah, no, never do that. And when you're having an argument like that, you just need to, you need to control your emotions and not like get angry. You know what I mean? And, oh yeah, sorry, I was talking about never, don't convince people. How, yeah. if you're going to try to convince someone, it's going to be so hard to do, unless you're the best salesman in the world. <laughs> it's so hard to do. What you need to do is tell them your point of view, tell them how you feel, and then let your actions change them. Because that's how people change, right? That's, let's say you, like, I don't know, you started doing your hair differently, right? Mm-hmm. It's not like, you know, I say, oh, your hair is ugly, start doing your differently, no? It's, let's say you see, you know, Jelina, you, like your friend Jelina has a new hairstyle, right? You see her one day, she has a new hairstyle. You're like, oh, that's a cute hairstyle, right? Yeah. You keep seeing her, you know, every like four days, she does the same hairstyle. Okay. And then you're like, I'm going to try that hairstyle. Okay. It's not like it's instant, like, oh, I'm going to try that hairstyle. Like, you know, sometimes maybe, yeah. right? But but in the macro of things and like, you know, more, more things that have more meaning in your life, like it, it doesn't change in a second. You need to see it over and over again. You need to see the different, like, you know, cl- like for me, becoming an environmentalist, it wasn't like straight away or like picking up garbage. For me, I, it wasn't like straight away. I'm like, oh, I'm going to start picking up garbage. No, I saw my friends would do it and this and that and people would do it. And, you know, the problems with the environment on the media and then slowly I would become that. And it just shapes you to who you are today. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that was really, really nicely said. Um, <laughs> that's just how I think about it. Anything else we should talk about? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of topics that we've started but never ended. I but if you can't tell me the topics, then <laughs> <laughs> let's just finish off. You enjoying school then? Excited for how's your day to day looking right now? Um, I go to school from Monday to Thursday. Every day. Yeah, but Monday. You live far. Yeah. It's a bus, eh? And you're gonna be having to go to the O train first and then go. It's gonna be stupid. Yeah, well, then that just means I have to take the bus and then a train and yeah. then another train. But there's you take two trains, is yeah. that correct? Fuck. <laughs> See, that's just dumb. That's just Ottawa. You need to listen to the Shutter Talk podcast. You need to put more trails in so people don't have to take the bus to get to the train. It's just inconvenient. It's just inconvenient. I like what they're doing, taking away the buses from downtown. That's a great idea. Yeah. Get less traffic. Get less, you know, this and that. I think they should just block off from cars. I think downtown should become a fucking train heaven. But, but our train is so small. The train is small. The train it's not ready for that big of a step. I think. Yeah. No. Um. But you like you don't like it. You like your program. I like my program. You're enjoying life. Yes. Are you really? Yeah. Deep down. <laughs> Deep down. Well, like be oh, honest. Life like can, honestly, life can I, always be better. Life can always be better. It's not horrible, and like for me, I'm. I'm just happy right now. Honestly, that's my thing. Me too. You happy? Yeah. yeah that's good. Good. This <laughs> okay. is a good. Did you enjoy being on the podcast? Yes, I did. Are you going to recommend it to all your friends? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to put it right on my story. Actually? If you want me to. I had some people not shout it out. Oh. <laughs> I invite you on the podcast. We talk and then they don't shout out the podcast. Call them out. I'm not going to call them out. Apparently, Exposing. we're not allowed to say names. No, I'm oh. kidding. I don't care. They don't have to shout it out. I don't even care. But uh, thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed the Shutter Talk podcast with Kathleen. Which is a really clever name. I don't know why people are bashing it. 
Should I tell who, him? Who bashed it? I know he's bashing it, but... <laughs> okay. I hope you enjoyed with Kathleen Huan. Twin. Huan. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Bye.